In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, and St. Andre Bassetti, pray for us. Well, I had this weird dream last night. Part of it was um, regarding Asher, and I was like holding Asher, and uh, you know, my mother was trying to steal him away and giving every trick in the book, and I just, um, I was basically confounding her with all of my answers, and also the father, I was confounding him, and they were all in my mother's, you know, ill rapport home, wandering around, and I was there, somehow I got transported there for one of their parties or something against my own will, and I said, well, I don't want to live in Portland, or I don't want to live in, in, uh, you know, Oregon, or I said Portland, I don't want to live in Portland, <laughs> it's kind of funny, because my mom was trying to get me to move back there. And, uh, but I saw her tricks, you know, so I was saying, well, I don't want to move to Portland. But I, I had my son with me. It was really weird, but I had somehow confounded them in all of their lies to their faces. But, but then the other, um, and I don't think her lover was there either, which was great. I mean, maybe, maybe they finally broke up, you know, who knows? I don't know this. I know my godmother, my fallaway nun aunt was there and she was trying to, uh, you know, I confounded her too with her replies and stuff. What my replies? I don't really understand or get it. I know it was a nice, nice day with blue sky there. I was like, great. You know, <laughs> I woke up. It's like snowing here. It's been kind of cold. But anyway, so uh, then the second part of my dream was I was suddenly transported. I was like in this huge Hindu ceremony. I was like floating. I could see below, and there's huge, giant people with like a Christ, like figure in the middle he was all red and bloody and he was the tallest one with like a crown and I think they were like holograms and it was very strange to me and they were floating kind of like they were walking almost like they were full of air like like healing or balloons or something it was, it was like very very strange okay and we get to this and there's like a stage area and there's this like, opera singer and then uh, suddenly I'm inside this like opera house or this huge house and there's this opera opera choir and it's actually sounds very beautiful you know i mean they were using their finest musicians in this hindu ceremony thing and it was weird but and then there was a person with big curly black hair that was singing at the front and then they said they announced that there's like this five-year-old girl that wanted into the ceremony and the person next to me said no don't corrupt her they're going to corrupt her and i was thinking about I was thinking about all this in terms of the prophecies about, you know, at JesusMariaSite.org, he talks about the holograms, and they're going to put holograms in the sky after the Antichrist rises to power to try to try to um, pervert the public into thinking that the God of their their country, you know, whatever their state religion is, whether it be Buddhism, Hindu, or Christianity, or whatever, they're going to put that culture's God up in the sky like it's alien coming out of the sky you got to follow this you know this is it you know and we're not to look at that crazy stuff and I know a lot of Christians laugh when they hear about this and they're also going to try to say the Antichrist is going to try to say that alien like you we were derived from aliens they're going to have these holographic aliens coming out of the sky and this is laughable to people who study scripture and gospel but I mean people are going to fall for this and we all wonder, how is that possible? How could people fall for such ridiculous stuff? Well, people already have. I mean, just look at all these crazy religions and, and what they believe. And you will quickly find out that people literally, like I said in, in school, you know, um, they said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. I think that's a dumbed down version. If you don't stand up for the Ten Commandments, you will fall for the devil's tricks. So just remember, keep the Ten Commandments, keep close to the sacraments. You know, you don't have to follow um, bad advice from your superiors within that kind of time. And I don't care if that superior thinks he's great, then don't follow him all the more. You know, find someone who doesn't think they're great. And, uh, but don't even, I would say, go so far as to, um, you know, ask the Blessed Virgin Christ and uh, blessed sacrament and your guardian angel for perfect assistance because humans this day and age aren't going to give you good advice.